show how to. So let's talk poached eggs. Everyone thinks they're difficult, but the truth is they're pretty simple. And the greatest thing about them is that they're really elegant and they can stay in the refrigerator for up to two days ahead of the time that you're going to use them and then you can rewarm them. Use a saucepan about this size and you're going to put a couple inches of water in it. And then we're going to do four eggs today. So you put in some white vinegar and the trick to the white vinegar is that it helps the egg retain its form and get a really nice round form while it's poaching. So put in about a teaspoon of vinegar for every egg that you're going to poach. Four eggs, four teaspoons. The trick is that you don't want your water boiling. If you look at the water, it's actually simmering, which means it's right below a boil. It's bubbling a little bit, but it's by no means boiling. So let's go start with the first egg, and you just barely slip it into the water. And it's really quite elegant. And in this pan, we can fit about two. You could probably go up to three, but let's not be risk takers. And of course, they love each other, so they're going to hang out together. One of Jacques Pepin's favorite tricks was to kind of touch the water just a little bit, and it helps them behave a little bit. They'll form up nicer. Now you go about three to four minutes for poached eggs. That's going to make it so that the egg whites have formed and really set up nicely, and yet the inside is still a little bit runny. As they start poaching, you can see that they're almost starting to pick up off the bottom of the pan. So they kind of do the work for you. So these have been poaching a few minutes now so we can take them out. Go ahead and make an ice bath, which is just ice water and ice, and take out the eggs. Now you know it's done when you touch this part of the egg white and it's a little bit firm to the touch but not completely hard. Drop it right into the ice water. If you're going to hold these for a couple days, you could keep them in the ice water in your fridge. I wouldn't keep them too much longer than two days, but for two days, they'll stay fine there. Now, we're putting them in the ice water because it's much like blanching. It halts the cooking of the egg. I personally love poached eggs. We have a roasted asparagus and white miso dressing recipe that's fabulous with poached eggs. And we also have a salad with uh, pancetta and some frise that it works well in too. So go ahead and drain them, put them on the paper towel. And then if you want to be really, really nice, then you could uh, trim them up around the edges for your guests. But I'm a little bit of a rustic person, so I like serving them like this. But see, this one's kind of got its tail hanging off, so why don't we trim it? And there you have it, poached egg.